Well, obviously, I, um, you know, I'm grateful for uh, uh, this day to come, you know, having been a year that I've been here. Um, but, uh, you know, special thanks to Scott Barnes and Pat Gallagher and, and really the University of Pittsburgh for giving me this opportunity to, uh, to extend it. I think I'll be 57 years old, you know, um, you know when this contract ends and hopefully there's more, more contracts to come after that. Uh, if we continue to do what I think we can do here at the University of Pittsburgh, uh, uh, again, grateful. And, you know, what an extension means is that, uh, you know, the guys that sit in these rooms and those chairs you just sat in uh, have worked their tails off uh, for us as a football team and have bought into what we're doing. Uh, tells you that the coaches that sit in that last row, um, from our full-time coaches to our graduate assistant coaches and, and all our support people from, you know, Hawks and Rob, everybody's doing their job. And, you know, when I first got here, I said, we can get where we want to go if we're all going in the same direction and, and everybody in this building is going in the same direction and obviously uh, from the chancellor on down um, you know, things don't happen like this you know by accident so uh, you know I'm just blessed to be able to after you know almost a year uh, to be able to get an extension on a contract it's something that uh, you know I came here with the intentions of doing is, is making this a long-term deal um, and uh, kind of where we want to be so uh, so I thank our players and our coaches and and uh, we'll just continue to move forward. This is just the beginning, okay? It's just the beginning. It's uh, it's, it's special. So, you guys, have any questions? Penny, yeah. you predated Scott here, and sometimes that doesn't lend itself to a an ideal working relationship. I'm just wondering, could you talk yeah. a little bit? You two have hit it off. Well, you know, we've certainly hit it off, and and uh, you know, uh, I think it starts with the the, the chancellor, okay? And uh, in the talks we had when I first interviewed. Uh, knowing it wasn't an athletic director, you know, I thought it was better at the point when there wasn't an athletic director here too. I'm not sure if uh, they hadn't made a move there that I'd be standing here today with you. Um, but you know, to me, it was refreshing that there was going to be a change, and um, you know, the chancellor uh, promised at that time, uh, you know, Pat, you you know, you take this this uh, gig, uh, you're going to have a say in who's coming here next. You're going to you know have some input. You're going to get a chance to talk and uh, interact with whoever that next guy may be. So, uh, you know, so I really felt comfortable with that. It wasn't like you're, you know, I know growing up in a coach's family, my dad always said, hey, when you get a new AD, it's time to start looking for a job. So uh, with us both coming in and, uh, you know, signing a five-year contract when I first got here and knowing I had the chancellor, you know, a brand new chancellor here that was uh, in my corner, he was going to hire uh, an athletic director that was going to be, you know, in my corner as well. And I think that certainly helps. So I feel like we came in together at the same time. You know, I may have been a couple of days before him, but you know, it, that hasn't made a difference. And uh, I love the way he works. He's honest. Uh, he's, he's, you know, tells it like it is. And you know, we meet weekly, so I get a good feel for what he's thinking in all aspects of, of the athletic department. And uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a great marriage right now. So I got two. I got a beautiful wife, and, and I got Scott Barnes. So we got, a, we got a great marriage going on here in the athletic department. And when did Scott first sort of approach you about extending your contract? You know, it was probably, I don't know, uh, I don't, it was a, it's a blur, uh, Sam, uh, you know, probably four or five weeks ago. I mean, we meet every Monday. Uh, I wish I could invite you guys to those, but we, you know, we've talked and, um, you know, Scott will laugh after James got hurt. He said, hey, you might have to readjust your goals a little bit. And I was like, yeah, we're readjusting them. And, um, you know, I think that's what, you know, brought it. You know, he just saw what we did without James. And, and uh, so he had mentioned it, you know, maybe halfway through season when we were doing well. And, Hey, we're going to do something for you. So, um, you know, that's that's important, and, and that's the kind of support we got here. But there's been a lot of movement, in college football coaches in the last couple of weeks, yeah. and there could be more to come. Uh, has any of that affected your coaches? I mean, do you expect your coaches to have to come back intact next season? You know what? Uh, I sure hope so. You know, I pray. Uh, you know, I know what Coach D'Antonio felt like <coughs> now. Um, if, if someone comes after a guy, but we got great staff. And anytime you got a great staff and you win football games, people are going to recognize those guys back there. Uh, they know it's not you know just me sitting up here. Um, but when you got great coaches and you have a little success, um, you know people are going to come after you guys. I think we had a great staff, and uh, so you know I'm not not going to say that we'd never lose a guy up there. Um, but continuity is going to be important here. So uh, I know Scott Barnes and Pat Gallagher will be uh, you know working hard for us to keep you know everybody in this room because we need to keep. Our staff intact. Not that we can't do it without them, but we're going to do everything. You know, I'm going to do everything in my power to keep them there. Because I, I think I said that probably when I first got hired. You know, people were saying, "Hey, coach, we know we want to keep you here, keep you here." I was like, "Hey, I ain't worried about me. I'm here. I would have taken this job if I didn't want to be here." And I don't like to move around. You know, 
Uh, I still have a house up in East Lansing if you guys need it. If there's anybody out there, then we can put this out on the web. I got a house up in East Lansing I'm looking to sell, um, you know, for the right dollar. Um, but uh, so I'm not a guy that likes to move. I don't like dealing with realtors. And, uh, but I'm worried about my staff, and I, you know, always have. We have to have continuity. We've had continuity in the past, and you know, I've seen which, what, what kind of success you can have with it. So certainly I worry about those guys uh, back there, and, and you know, we're going to do what we can do to keep them here. Have you received interest from other schools about some of your assistance? Uh, no, no. Because 2021 sounds like a long way away, but when you're talking about recruiting a high school junior, that's their senior year. Uh, what is the faith that the athletic department shows in you? Does that give you an advantage when you're out there on the recruiting trail? Like, hey, I'm going to be here. This is the coaching yeah, staff. Yeah, certainly here. does because I've you know I've heard from you know I've heard from high school coaches and and uh, I've heard from uh, you know recruits that people are out there you know you know throwing slinging mud um, you know at us saying we we're not going to be here long. We want to go do this and go do that and you know uh, that's great baloney. So the the, the message is. You know, uh, Pitt is back, and we're going to be here for a while. And uh, but people want to, you know, throw those stones around. Um, you know, no facts to it, and uh, they need to know that. Speaking of that, uh, specifically, Speaking. I read something two two reports this week that you you had conversations with the Rutgers before they hired Chris Ash. Of course, I did. We're doing, you know, Tim Salem recruits New Jersey, and uh, does a great job. Um, I know there's some reports out there about how good a job he's doing recruiting that area. And, and, uh, and I've recruited New Jersey for a long time, so uh, there's certainly reports out there, but there was absolutely no conversations uh, with not only them, but anybody. So that's a fact. So you can hear from me. Where does this stuff come from, Ben? You guys. <laughs> <laughs> not, not me. Well, it ain't me either. So it's, it's the world of Twitter that we're in nowadays, and, and you know, whatever. So, good question, though. That's one of your best questions ever. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. I think it was good. It was good. <laughs> got a while over here. Have you uh, have you had any conversations with Tyler about his sort of looming decision yet? Yeah, we've had we've had conversations, and you know we'll go through the process and finish up this bowl game, and, and you know see where he ends up. Uh, but uh, you know, to me, it's what's best for Tyler, and and uh, and you know whatever's best for him, we're going to make sure he gets. What about with Chad? You would have the option of, of taking a graduate transfer. Has there been any discussion of that? You know. Um, there's a little bit. So we've talked a little bit. You know, um, you know, we want chat here, obviously. Um, so uh, uh, it's not me, is it? but uh, yeah, we want chat here for sure. And maybe it's Chad. I ask him. Uh, but you know, we've had conversation. Chad knows we want him here, but I also want what's best for Chad too. I know it's not easy being a backup quarterback, and and uh, so we'll we'll see where uh, that trade takes us.